Hey, what's up, you guys? Craft Farms here. Welcome back to Edgewater, Saskatchewan. As you can see, we got the swather running up here in field 10 on our oats field. Uh, and we are jumping right on into harvest. Uh, we've already got field 50 over here done. So we are going to head on over there with the combine. And we're going to get rolling and uh, get cracking on some harvest. Oats uh, shouldn't take us too terribly long. And uh, we'll see what kind of yield we get off of it. So as you can see, we do already have this field done. We'll uh, get in here and get the course play course all loaded up. Uh, I did have to take out a little bit of a loan. Um, I took out another $20,000 because we were broke uh, once we hit the... Uh, once we got through fast forwarding, we uh, we had no money left. Let's see. Okay, that's not what I want to be doing. Um, let's see here. Course play. Strassloft. Uh, we want that completely deactivated. There we go. Oop. Nearest. There we go. We don't want the straw. And we are not going to get any actual chop straw out of this. Interesting. That's all right. It just acts as fertilizer anyways. So we are actually filling up relatively quick, which is good. Uh, we're gonna jump in the grain cart here. I did. Uh, we did get our duels uh, for the 47 here, so we have those now. Which will probably actually be keeping the duels on it. We'll see though. Because uh, with the international, we can use that for spraying as well as running the auger. So we don't really need uh, need to worry about not having duels on this. We don't have any jobs that uh, would require us to have them off. That guy is already half full. So I think we're going to have a pretty, uh, pretty decent oat harvest here which uh, would be a good thing and by the time we get to him he's going to be pretty much full <laughs> and our uh, swather only has a few more minutes left on that field. <clears throat> but we can always move him later. He's uh, plenty far ahead of us. Boy, look at that corn. We are going to have one heck of a corn harvest. Yeah, we're going to have to let him back up. He can't... Uh, Get around them trees there.
Perfect. Grab a good old screenshot here. So we'll get about three full combines into this and then a partial before the uh, grain cart is completely full. This tractor might be just a hair underpowered for this, but that's all right. We're going to rock with it anyways. And then we're just going to Roll right on behind him here. And after we're done, we'll go back. Uh, after the field is done, we'll go back with the uh, combine and pick up any missed little bits around the field. Slother's got about three minutes left on him. Yeah, he's got three more passes. And then we can jump on over there to field nine. Looks like we got to go all the way around with that. Unless we can sneak through the neighbor's field. I'm not sure if the neighbor's combined yet or not. It didn't look like it, so I don't think they were in the field getting ready, so we may end up having to wait. So I don't know if it's because of the fact that the crop is swathed that it uh, doesn't want to actually put down any chop straw. That maybe it's not recognizing it, or what the deal is. I mean, it's not really that big of a deal if it does or doesn't. Um, I'm not really all too worried about it. get up beside him here and get him unloaded because he is almost full again. Uh, we weren't quite fast enough. Oh, and we are way too close. Shoot. Oh, no, 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 no. Put that thing back out. <laughs> it's the only thing that sucks about this pickup header is it's it makes it hard to guesstimate just where things are. Where we need to be. This corner is going to be quite interesting. Yeah, that's what I figured that we were going to lose it. Let's get caught back up to him here. So 
we are already at 60% in the cart here. So I think we might have to uh, get our truck over here after this. Let's grab our truck. Get it untarped here. And our swather is done up there. We'll, wor we'll worry about moving him later on. So we can kind of focus on getting this done. Because he's far enough ahead that uh, I'm not too worried about getting him going right away. He's a whole field ahead of us here, so... Perfect, right there should work. And we'll run and see if we can't top the cart off while uh, we're making our way over there. It's definitely a heavy load for this old girl. Hopefully next season we'll have a different uh, cart tractor. I mean, we could have uh, we could have pulled the versatile out to uh, run this too, I guess. But All right, let's catch up to him before he takes off flying here. We'll see, maybe we'll just get ahead of him and stop him here. Perfect. This should fill us up, I think. like to get it in a little bit better position, but now I got it all sorts of screwed up here. Come on, come on, come on. Catch up with him here. Before the truck, preferably. There we go. That's a little better. We'll get this filled up and then we'll dump this in the truck. There you go, now you can continue on your way. I can't quite see the auger in this tractor, so get unloaded here. see if I have it set 
I know there's a setting in here that makes it so it only fills to a certain weight rather than trailer fill limit on. I don't know if that makes it. Oh yeah, it does make it so it uh, holds a little less. I believe. Maybe not. Okay, that back hopper is full. Perfect. And then uh, now we'll just give them a moment here to get turned around and then we'll catch them on the way down. See if we can unload him a couple of times and uh, get him, get that truck filled up so we can go dump it. Let's just jump over to this guy. That way that message ain't just sitting there and being annoying. My hope is that we can make enough money to where we can sell a good majority of the equipment that we've got right now and uh, replace it with a little bit more. I would like to buy more land too. So we'll have to see. Maybe we can set something up with the uh, dealership. Set up some uh, demos for next year. as well I would really love to get that planting that corn planter set up that we uh, demoed this spring I would really love to get into that but we'll have to kinda see what we can do I'd really love to be able to get fields 5, 8, and 29 too because we could combine five and eight together along with nine and ten and have a big field and then we can also combine field uh, 28 and 29 together too which would also give us a good sized field and I'd like to look into picking up fields two and three maybe but we shall see We'll just have to uh, see what what kind of money we have at the end of uh, the year here. Because I think if we look here, I think oh, when are oats best? Oats are best to sell in December, and corn is best sold in June. But it's pretty close in December. It's not too far off. So maybe we'll sell it in December. Sell everything at once. Because I'd rather not hold on to it all the way till June. But we shall see. And as soon as we get... Uh, as soon as we get our <clears throat> oats in storage, they'll pop up in the... Uh, stock check menu Maybe we'll go down here and, well, I don't want to let him turn around and then unload because then we'll be driving on the next windrow. So I would rather not do it that way. 
And judging from our yield, I mean, it, of course, is still showing the last one. So after we have uh, harvested each oat field, I will be going and resetting the uh, field information so that way we can kind of start uh, each season individually. This is why they say you're not supposed to text and drive. <laughs> totally not paying attention. Let's see if this is enough to fill the truck. I don't think it's going to be, but... <coughs> It'd be nice. Uh, I put a bug in old Sean's ear that uh, it'd be nice to have a... Uh, a little bigger grain cart for harvest. So we'll see. Maybe we'll end up getting a uh, grain cart demo. I told them it doesn't have to be anything stupidly huge. Not quite. It is so close. So we'll unload this guy quick, and then we'll be able to top that truck off, and then we can get it unloaded. Would be nicer to uh, get a little bit bigger corn head and combine as well, but uh, I wasn't putting that bug in his ear. I think we'll make do pretty well with what we got. We haven't used our corn head yet, so. Which is nice, but uh, kind of, excuse me, kind of uh, worrying at the same time because it's hard to tell if, uh, if there's going to be any problems with it or not. Hopefully there is not beans that it hasn't been used, but it only hasn't been used by us. It's been used before.
So this will top the truck off. And then uh, we'll be all good to go put it in our bin. So let's jump over here to the truck right away. Go get this put in the bin. Good 1,667 bushels. Let's get this guy fired up. And then we're going to get this guy started as well, since that's how that jump auger works. And away we go. Perfect. Then we're just going to wait for everything to empty out because I'm curious of how how much one truckload fills this bin. So and our combine is full. Truck is almost empty. Okay, truck is empty. Now we wait for the jump auger to empty out. Wait for the auger to empty. Perfect. So, oh wow, almost halfway. All right, well. Alrighty then, that's uh, a little more than I thought I was gonna fill it. Okay, well, now we know that. Okay. Oh, we are in the wrong menu for that. All right. We'll go unload him. And then uh, we're going to call her a video. And then we'll come back when we get over to our next field. Oh, come on. Give me a break here.
Alrighty, folks. That is going to do it for today. Like I said, we'll finish up this field and get everything moved up to uh, field 10 there. And I'll get that slother moved over to field 9 and get him going on that. And uh, then we'll come back uh, next video on our next field. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Hope you all enjoyed this video. And if you did, be sure to smash that thumbs up button. And as always, folks, we'll catch you all tomorrow.